Pastor Susan, and Happy Thanksgiving! Today is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it, and we will certainly rejoice and give God thanks this day for the, all of the blessings of our lives. Um, you know, it's, it's amazing as I've been doing pre-recordings of this week, a couple of weeks in ahead of time, I'm recognizing something that's happening in my soul because I, I do all of these um, in kind of in one setting, different shirts to remind me of the different days that I'm going to be doing it. But um, as I have been focusing on Thanksgiving this week um, and, and these recordings, it just seems like every time I do it, it gets it builds up. It gets better and better and better. And, and it really reminds me that a life that is intentionally focused on giving God thanks sets us up to be mindful of the gifts that God has given to us, sets us up for giving ourselves to others more fully, sets us up to keep our perspective that God is God and we are not, and that's a good thing. Um, so today I'm going to be reading from Psalm 139. This is one of the favorite psalms. Uh, it's used a lot in worship, uh, but I think it's very, very appropriate for today. And we're going to be looking at 136, 136 verses 1 through 9. 136. Oh, wrong page. Okay. Listen to these words. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. For he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the God of gods, for his steadfast love endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his steadfast love endures forever. Who alone does great wonders, for his steadfast love endures forever. Who by understanding made the heavens, for his steadfast love endures forever who spread out the earth on the waters, for his steadfast love endures forever, who made the great lights, for his steadfast love endures forever, who the sun to rule over the day, for his steadfast love endures forever, the moon and the stars to rule over the night, for his steadfast love endures forever. You know, God's faithfulness and love endures forever. There's a song that uh, the uh, praise team sings at the second worship service called uh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. It is never-ending. It is complete. It is given from a heart of love. And that is truly what describes our God, isn't it? That God's love never fails. God's love never fails. It endures forever. You know, above everything else, this is the story of who God is, the character of God that is expressed throughout the Bible and most effectively and personally in the life of Jesus Christ. That above all else, God has a tire, uh, an untireable, durable, embracing, never-ending love. And that's a promise. That's a promise for you and for me. The New Bible Commentary says that God's status would by itself inspire awe. His creative works marvel. His power evident in history. Submission. God's goodness. Gratitude. But when we see all of this greatness spring from an unchanging love which delights to manifest power in mercy and in provision, then the Lord is truly acknowledged with wonder, love, and praise. I want you to savor those words this morning and how they apply to your walk with God that call you and me to awe and submission and gratitude and wonder and love and praise. Think about today, this Thanksgiving day. What moments or events or relationships have made God's unchanging, faithful love most real to you. I think that's something that you and I today need to think about as we are preparing for this time together with friends. I hope you truly have a joyous Thanksgiving today, uh, day today, 
And in, in whatever way you mark that way, with, with whomever you mark that, that you might take the moments of expressing intentional love and joy with one another and um, naming your thanksgivings one by one, as the hymn says, um, and giving God the place that God is due in this day and in every day. May it be so in your life and in mine. Amen and amen. Thanks be to God.